Hello YouTube and welcome to your third Microsoft Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the IDE and see what it has that we can use to make programs. So let's go ahead and get started. Up here we have our file menu which you see a lot in other programs. We have under the file section we have new project where you can create a new project obviously. You can open a project, you can open a file such as a class or a solution. You can close out of what you're currently working on. You can close your project, uh, save selected items, save all. You can export a template. Now what this means is that, let's say you create a Windows Forms or a Windows Form and you want to be able to use that same design throughout a bunch of different product products. You can export the template and so when you go in there to create a new project, you can select that template and everything will already be made for you. You can come down here to recent files and see your recent files. Uh, recent projects and solutions and you can exit the program or you can use the shortcut alt f4 to do that now up here in our edit menu we have undo redo which is pretty self-explanatory cut copy and paste you can delete your selection you can select all you can quick find or you can quick replace now what this is what this does is it pops up this window and you can search for a certain string now uh, this is very useful if you forget where something is and you gotta find it you can also use quick replace to replace something by searching for a string and replacing it with another string. Up here in our view, we can view the start page, which is this right here. It gives you the get started, and it shows some stuff that uh, you can see on the Microsoft website that will teach you how to use this. You can go to the latest news. Uh, you can enable the RS RSS feed if you want to get news from Microsoft. Uh, you can view other windows. You can view the database explorer, the error list, which the error list is right down here. You can view the properties window, which will show up right here once we start making programs. Uh, Solution explorer, which is what we have open right here already. And uh, you can view the toolbox, which is what you use to add controls to your forms. You can view the web browser, and you can also find results. So you can, you can change the options of debug if you want. Um, you can go ahead and look through these and mess with it if you want. Um, you can go up here to Tools. You can view extensions for Visual Basic. We won't be using any extensions. You can go to Settings. You can do Basic Settings, Expert Settings, Reset, or Import and Export Settings if you want to. If you would like to do that, let's say you get a Settings file and you want to use that, you can go ahead and import that. Customize and Options. So let's go up here to Options, and uh, I just want to make sure you guys have something set. So go ahead and expand text editor and we'll go to all languages and general I think it is um, so come down here to basic and you're gonna see a box right here called line numbers and make sure that is checked now what we want to why we want to check this is so that later on when we're making our programs if we run into errors the error list is going to tell us what line number that's on and it's going to be very useful to be able to just see the line numbers right next to your code so I'll go ahead and click OK on that um, you also have under window you can float a window so what that does is let's just say we drag the start page off here it'll start floating it and you can see that we've got several boxes to choose from to anchor it to different sides and parts of our IDE so we're just going to choose the central box which is where it was before uh, we can also dock a window which is what we did hide a window auto hide all close all documents so if you have more more than one class open uh, or something else you can close all those out uh, it shows you the windows that are open right now and you can also reset your layout if you want now the help menu you have the option to view help manage help settings go to the forums or look at samples and other stuff like that you can mess around with that if you want now down here in this bar we have our new project open file save all and some other things like solution explorer properties window toolbox just stuff that was already up here in this menu just down here so that um, when we need to access it quick it's going to be there these are some of the most commonly used controls now we also have the error list which will show all the errors in our programs. It will also show the warnings. Now what a warning is, is it really, it really isn't an error, but it's something that could cause an error when you run your program. And uh, over here we have our Solution Explorer, which uh, basically what a solution is, is it's a file that can hold a bunch of projects 
or one project if you'd like. Um, and inside of these projects, you have classes and um, forms and other stuff. So um, if you want to, you can go ahead and mess around with some of the stuff in the IDE to go ahead and get familiar with that before we move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.